The environmental state of the world is pretty bad. That's really forcing more and more people to ask what next, to look for solutions. By 2050, if some dramatic action isn't done, there'll be more items of plastic in the world's oceans than living creatures. We need to commit to not only limiting harm, but we also have a much more proactive approach to the future. We need to find a way to coexist and to be prosperous. We really need to look at the linear take-make-waste model. We need to look at something different, and we think that that different model could be a circular economy. Circular economy is really based on three principles. To eliminate waste and pollution, to keep products and materials in use for longer, and to regenerate natural systems. Well, design is a, is a tool. It's a problem-solving tool primarily. Many of the big global issues that we face in today can be addressed by design thinking. We need you, the brilliant designers of products, packaging, clothing, objects we use every single day to help us create a better future, a more sustainable future, a regenerative future. The beauty of tech is it can act as an accelerator. It's an enabler to support design of new products and new systems, and in turn supports the sustainable change that we simply must make. Designers have a huge role to play in the shift to a circular economy, but also millions of other people who are involved in the design process. And we estimate that's about 160 million people globally. I would ask designers, business leaders, to look a bit further down the track and ask what the future holds, what policy changes are coming, what are citizens asking for, and what supply chain risks do they expose themselves to if they are constantly dependent on finite resources that come out of a hole in the ground. The circular economy is really about regeneration, so not just reducing the harm and trying to do a bit less bad over time, but actually to, to have a positive impact, to restore, to regenerate so the future gets a bit better rather than just a bit less worse. SAP solutions touch 77% of the world's material flows. We really are unique in our ability to provide that end-to-end -end visibility that no other companies can do. Sustainability has, maybe for too long, been an add-on in a business strategy. But through technology, we have the opportunity, and it really is an opportunity to design the processes and databases required for designers everywhere. And that's really the opportunity here. We can just look around us and say, how could you redesign that for a circular economy? It's truly time for designers to have the insight that they need to make informed circular design choices and enable the circular economy itself. <laughs>